Just be calm, Laura, and answer my question. Did you say anything to your sister or Luke or Robert Scorpio which would make them think that you report to me? No, David, nothing. Yet you bring me no information, Laura. You promised you would listen and tell me what you hear. Why haven't you done that? They don't talk in front of me. Never? Not about important things, no. Don't you see, David, I, I can't report to you if I don't hear All right, anything. Laura. Don't get excited. Just remain calm. Is it okay to talk? Yes. Her sister just freaked out. In what way? Well, she discovered her sister gone, she tore up the ship, and then she took off. She's not coming here. She doesn't know that Laura and I meet here. Well, if she knows, she doesn't care. She said she was going to the cops. That would be Captain Ramsey. They've had contact before. Let's see, how can I use this? Of course. Uh, wait, that's my purse. Yes, I know, Laura. But it's been stolen. I want you to listen very carefully. You went for a walk. Two young men ran by, grabbed your purse, and kept running. Is that clear? Yes, they grabbed my purse. It was stolen by two young boys. Do you understand? They were running fast, so you couldn't recognize them. You can't identify them. All you know is they took your purse and ran. They ran. So now you will go to the police station and report that your purse has been stolen. Do you understand, Laura? My purse has been stolen. While you were out taking a walk, you will not remember this meeting with me or this man here. Is that quite clear? I will not remember meeting you or this man here. Excellent. You may leave now, Laura, and go directly to the police. Yes, to the police. Brilliant. But are you sure she'll do it? She's under my control. She'll do whatever I tell her to do. She'll answer any question if she can. If she can? I still don't know what Spencer is planning with the World Security Bureau in Washington. Let's go. I am aware that David Gray made things a bit rough for you gentlemen. A bit rough, sir? David Gray is a hypnotist, for one thing. He has a young woman named Laura Templeton under his complete control. And that's just the start of it. The Port Charles police are now involved, not to mention uh, an act where Luke was provoked to the point of almost killing Gray. Then we had a chase. Chase? I was led on a wild goose chase across New England. At one point, I was locked in an airplane going God knows where, and I uh, had to fight my way out, parachute out of it. Well, that was provident, Mr. Spencer. I was prepared. This girl named um, Laura Templeton has a sister who has been working closely with us now. She's under enormous amount of strain, too. Obviously. Now, if you will, will you tell me what conclusions you yourself have drawn from David Gray? One thing is uh, fairly obvious. He's either the leader of or a high-ranking member in some sort of cult. He is. An exceedingly dangerous group of dedicated fanatics. Now, this cult goes back into, some, all the way back to some ancient history thing, right? Well, I can see you've done your homework. Well, several symbols tied together for us. So did uh, a gypsy woman. What else did you learn about this cult? It has something to do with Malkuth. Yes, it is. The ambassador uh, to Malkuth spoke of it briefly. And what did you learn from him? He confirmed what we'd already begun to assume. Such as? There is a symbol... Uh, there was a medallion, actually, that seems to be some sort of symbol of the cult. That is correct, Mr. Spencer. The medallion is actually an ancient coin, and every member of the cult wears one. I see. Is this it? And where did you get this? Off David Gray's neck. He is one of the cult, isn't he? He is. Apparently, you gentlemen have gathered up a considerable amount of information about David Gray. Would you mind summarizing it for me? Well, when he first arrived in Port Charles, we assumed him to be a mild-mannered antique dealer with nary so much as a traffic ticket. The Port Charles police confirmed this, but uh, the fact that you have his file under top secret 
priorities obviously doesn't jibe. Actually, there was a David Gray, and he was, as you described, a uh, antique dealer and never had so much as a parking ticket, but... Uh, and he died. Yes, he died, and your David Gray assumed his identity. The perfect cover. All right, let's continue, gentlemen, shall we? You discovered that David Gray was more than an antique dealer. What else did you learn about him? He was responsible for my wife's death. How did you determine that? David Gray was going to rip off the uh, sword and helmet of Malkuth at the Port Charles Museum exhibit. Laura Templeton was in on that plan. Laura Templeton is Jackie's sister. Now, at the time, she was living with a photographer called Mel Wilson. Wilson was also part of the plan. Now, he's disappeared. The way Robert and I have it figured, Gray was after Laura Templeton to shut her up and mistook my wife for her. You see, they look very much alike. You said you believe that Gray planned to steal the sword and the helmet from the Malkuth exhibit. Do you know for a fact that he succeeded? No, because we have the sword. Which uh, leads us to believe that we're in a modicum of danger. To say the least. Do you think he'll make a move to recover it? Yes, he needs that sword. Why? Because it's the sword and the helmet that he needs together as a power figure in Malkuth. Are you certain of that, Mrs. Bennett? Ambassador Tabris of Malkuth told us that the sword and the helmet together are the symbol of power. We understand all that. What we don't know is why, and why did my wife have to die? Do you have an answer for that, Mr. Spencer? I was hoping you would have the answer, Mr. Masters. So far, you've asked all the questions. We've given all the answers. When do you come up with an answer? What is it you want to know, Mr. Spencer? Isn't that obvious? We want to know what David Gray's intentions are. What is it, some kind of a coup? Does he want to take over the country? Does he want to take over the world? Is he a Mikos Kassadine uh, clone or something? And besides that, yeah. if he is not the leader of this cult, then who is? Two good questions, Mr. Spencer. Two very good questions. What does the cult want? And is David Gray the leader? Excellent questions. I can't answer either one.